And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. You ready to fight? You ready? Dateline, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. That beautiful timing and placement to land the flying knee. Well, he misses with the left punch there. All right, so the wrestler engages in the clinch here. And he does so very early in the fight against the kickboxer. He told us in the fighter meeting he's not worried about bonus money. He is trying to win, and this is certainly on that path. Ultimately, it's about getting the W. Getting this guy to the clinch allows for you to start working towards winning the fight. One thing you got to be aware of, though, is those knees and elbows that come back in your direction from this high-level kickboxer. in half court. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Cormier's back in half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, submission attempt here. He's fighting. He wants this badly. Look at that. That's tight. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. You gotta maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Corbin. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Big, straight left. Back and forth we go. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times, people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Get the hands going here. by Alistair Overeem, continues to cross-train at different places, finished up this training camp at Team Elevation there under Elliott Marshall. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Nice pass. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Overeem. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, arm triangle. Arm triangle. Arm triangle. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Four seconds for the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they win... You ready to fight? You ready? You Second round underway. <laughs> Straight right is there. Overeem's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Oh, beautiful job getting the foot to the head there. Oh, back and forth, An elbow! Back to his feet. Oh! Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He could find that one shot. To close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, Taz is trying to find that shot again. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but there's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. 
Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, beautiful kick there. Vintage Alistair Overeem. On any given Saturday night, we're looking at a guy who... I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC, it doesn't always pay for the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. In terms of those low leg kicks, a lot of fighters say it's just toughness. It doesn't have to do with genetics necessarily, but you don't want to take too many more of those. Cormier's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Single leg takedown. Cormier's in half guard. Oh, right into Mount. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the... Look at him, he's setting up the choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Neil Philly, he's bringing it down, ground and pump. If he doesn't move... shot just before the end of the round so now he goes back to the stool wobbly a little bit we'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight all right let's now look back at some of the action from that round he went head hunting landed nearly got the finish too a lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt in this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, so here we go. Third and final round. Outstanding kick there by Overeem. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. He passes the half. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass the final ball. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. It's the elbow there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so there it is with the punch. One thing to have a reach advantage, another to employ. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of fight. Overeem's got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. Call it time here in the clinch. Just misses there with the left. He's got to find a way to finish. Oh, power shots landing on both sides. And the 
chins continue to hold up. Overeem goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Oh, nice knees to the body. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Another big take down. Final seconds of the fight. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork.